the opponent and makes them think, I'm not allowed to press a dragon move here because if you do click follow me, or a ground move here, because if you do click follow me, that move is void. Yeah. So Doesn't... your partner that's sitting next to you, they don't have to worry as much. Doesn't do anything. So we'll see what yellow team here in between the uh, the Freaks duo in Cheeks and Cosma, uh, you know, if they can kind of recognize and take advantage of that game plan when they see it. Going with the Palutena and the Rob. I've seen a lot more of this Palutena from Cheeks as of late. Very interested to see how this functions in doubles specifically, because Cheeks is so good at doubles. Oh yeah, Cheeks is phenomenal in doubles, and I think he might be playing one of the best doubles characters in the game. Palutena is such a good support character in doubles, mm -hmm. and that, that fits Cheeks' role entirely as a great support player in doubles. He's so ready to be their first teammate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, if there's one thing I have to give credit to Cheeks for, it's just being aware of what's going on in the present. He tried to wait for Jutsu to get forward smashed by his own teammate, but, you know, that's more than once that we've seen Lil Pack demonstrate, like, okay, you get a grab, I'm going to start charging forward smash. And I know the Rob wasn't present, but just be careful about that in the future. Oh, no! Okay. Oh, that's not the idea. Yeah, definitely expected a little bit of miscommunication there from the yellow team who... We will mention they're both freaks right here, but these two don't play doubles a lot together as a mm -hmm. team. Um, and I don't know how much they even get to play with each other that much. Yeah. Uh, but, but, you know. <laughs> oh, that yeah, was that'll sick. do. And that's, and that's just, again, like something that both of these players, you're saying, like, they don't, they're not about the game plans. They don't play with each other that much, presumptuously, you know? They're very much about what's in the moment, right? Very good paying attention to the moment there from Cosmo. And that's the team composition. It's not about plans. It's about we're both very good players and we're going to function well together. Mm -hmm. Because oh. we have these similar playstyles. Definitely. And we see, you know, Cheeks is really good at playing that defense. Well, believe it or not, the Rob here is actually pretty good at setting up that offense. Kazma mm -hmm. is, is very good at especially pulling out the random aggression when you're not expecting yeah. it. He's not... <laughs> Gray Grayson is known as more of the aggressive Rob between the two, mm -hmm. but, I mean, we've, we've said it before, we'll say it again, Cosmo's an up smasher. Yeah. <laughs> He'll come out of you, he will use that move. Ooh, he's also recognizing, again, just the situation that's been handed to him. Definitely didn't plan on that back throw, but we'll see if he's able to pick up something. Ah, that time, he though, however. sure did. He oh, was hyper-focused. No. This time, Lil Pack will die to Jutsu, though. Kind of a sloppy game all around. A little slop, but that puts uh, blue team small disadvantage. I will say small because even though there's a full stock lead, Cheeks is taking some damage, and whoever gets to this two v one first kind of erases whatever lead happens right here, right? Mm -hmm. If they take a quick stock on Cheeks and, and take another one after that, two v one, even if they have a lot of a lot of percent, is a uh, is a big yeah big deal. Well, and I think oh, oh my goodness, he did not even want to be in that situation, but Cosma pulled him straight into it. And Jutsu's got a big mountain to climb. Right, and I was saying that this wasn't a huge lead until it became one. Mm -hmm. Once you drop that last stock, three stocks is way more insurmountable than just oh. one of them. Cosmo ran out of okay. fuel. And he was staying out there for a long time to try to, to make this aggressive edge guard happen. Mm. And even though he was ready for the aggression from Jutsu, he wasn't uh, prepared for that forward air to cross up. All of a sudden, Gyro's kind of becoming a problem to control in this one. I love going above the ledge there. He's ready. Oh, and Jutsu knows he's got to take out the Palu. Now, all of a sudden, a fighting chance for the blue team, but it is uh, only there for a fleeting moment. Mm -hmm. And look, Jutsu didn't even waste any time after that game to immediately turn to his partner and be like, all right, look, let's formulate a new game plan. Yeah. You see that? Before we were even able to transition the camera, he was fully leaned. Yeah, he was fully in his face. I, I would not be surprised that, that halfway through that up air animation, he was already turned over. Because <laughs> he's here to communicate with his homeboy. Yeah. And get the game plan set. Because if it was that close after they were down by that much, because of what he was able to figure out in those last moments, the miscommunication from the, from the yellow team, I believe, I'm, I'm just going to call it what I'm seeing it here. They, they they aren't as comfortable with each other as teammates. So uh, let, let me let me let me backtrack here and say yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the most important things you'll notice in doubles is how the 2v1 is handled. Cuz the 2v1 is always a huge advantage for the players who are the most comfortable here with the 2 versus 1. Any any static doubles team will should not ever lose a 2v1 situation. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it came down that close tells me that there was a lot, and you could see it in the play, there was a lot of the other team getting in each other's way and not communicating a clear game plan of I'm sitting back here and covering this option while you cover that option. There wasn't a lot of 
them being on the same page. Yeah. I, I mean, and that's something you can really take advantage of. I mean, especially, you know, as the blue team, as such a, you know, as such a static team, right? You've, you've got to imagine that you look at that game one and you go, okay, like, Friendly fire a lot on both sides, but particularly there were a couple of instances, even for the blue oh, team, where it was, shoot. we need to clean this up. And you pointed it out. Jutsu realized that that was one of the situations, and we'll see if he has an answer for that coming into this next stock, because that first one is gone. Right, first one's gone because of Kazma's amazing edge guarding to push Ooh. him so far off. But now, he's that yo-yo, eventually he's able to take away a stock from Cheeks, and now, very even-looking game to start it off. I, just the tip of the yo-yo just kind of tagged Cheeks, and he thought that there was a tech situation because it wasn't oh, up no. smash, and it faked That's him out. See. No, not at all. Becker coming through from Jutsu's taking out his own partner's stock. He smelled blood, but it, it was the wrong it was the wrong blood type. Mm -hmm. Now that robs side B. The armor is so strong to push Jutsu off stage, but he's still able to make it back, even without having the little pack to come back at him. He was occupied with Cheeks on stage, and you know, Jutsu had faith in his own skills that he said, nah, keep doing what you're doing, man. Once again, friendly fire from this blue team. Like you said, it's probably something that they've had to change up in between this, but Smashville is such a close quarters place, mm -hmm. it's hard to avoid those incidents. Definitely is. And it, you know what's strange is when there's four players on the screen, I feel like Yellow Team is communicating better than ever in this game. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. I'll communicate that down air into stock taken. And Jeez, you know what? Count up another one for the Yellow Team. They are up five stocks to two. Yeah, this is crazy. Finally, uh, another stock drops from the Yellow Team. I think that was cheap. That, so was, that was friendly fire. Again, there's just so oh much of it. Gosh, and now... Little pack down aired off stage. Yeah. That's not what you like to see. Yeah, no, no, no crazy comeback from Jutsu this time. That was just a clean seal in it. Yeah, he got shut down before he got the chance, man. The downer real quick. Only one frame of activity on that Palu downer, but boy, if Cheeks that's, did not find it. That's a frame enough. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so uh, he and Cosmo will be able to punch their ticket into grand finals and get their rematch against those who sent them into losers, which, uh, as I'm sure not many people are surprised to hear, is Austin, Austin and Zillion. Zillion. Mm -hmm. So...